here for an acute appointment. Tell me what brings you in today. Well, I went to see my uh, nurse practitioner a month ago in June mm -hmm. to uh, have my annual women's checkup. And at the time, I was having discomfort in my private genital area. And um, she did a urine sample, and I had blood in my sample. And she gave me medicine and said, come back next week. And I did that, and I still had blood in my urine. And she said, um, I want you to see a urologist. Okay. And where is the discomfort? Can you give me I, that? I call it my whole, it's all around my vagina, my, it's the outer area. Okay. It does not burn when I urinate. Okay. It was the outer area was uncomfortable. Right. And it was intermittent at that time. Okay, so it is a it is a discomfort in the pelvic gentle area. Um, is it a burning pain? Is it a pain or is it a discomfort? Is it a itching? It, what exactly it is? It it was discomfort at the time when I went to see her, and now it has developed over time to where it's a burning, and it's on the exterior. It does not burn when I urinate. Okay, so it's the exterior. All right. Do you have any rash in that area? No rash. There's no rash? No. Okay. And obviously uh, your OB examined you. Yes. And the exam was normal. The exam was normal. She did Except give me... Except the urine. The exam, the uh, urine had blood in it. And she did give me aqua four. She said my skin thins as I age and that this aqua four, it's a topical mm -hmm. lotion would help. So for the blood and urine, um, was it an infection? Did she give you anything? She gave me an antibiotic. Okay. And um, she sent it off, and they, in the culture, a bacteria did show. And so, did the antibiotic took care of burning? The antibiotic seemed to help with the frequency of urination. I was urinating more frequently. At the time? At the time. Okay. And when I went back for the follow-up, I still had blood in my urine. Okay. And um, she gave me um, another dose of antibiotic, but she wanted me to see a urologist. Okay. So you saw a urologist? I did. Okay. And he did examinations. Mm -hmm. He um, checked to see if my, he scoped my bladder to see if I voided everything, and that was fine. He inserted a probe in my urethra to see if there were tumors mm -hmm. inside the bladder. So you did a cystoscopy, okay. And then we did a CT scan and he could not see any kidney stones or tumors. There was no reason for the okay. blood. Okay, so all the blood, all the workup for blood and urine was normal, It right? was normal. Okay. Did he do any blood test? He did not. Yeah, I'm not sure what your creatinine. I know the surgical causes of blood and urine are ruled out, but I don't know if there is any creatinine issue. Okay, we'll come back to that. So, where are we now? So, what uh, what did your urologist say then? I, when I went back to see him, I said I noticed when I went back to work from the first appointment with him, he deadened my urethra before he inserted the probe. Mm -hmm. And I said that I had total comfort if all my pain was gone when you deadened the urethra. Oh, And that's okay. when he said, in that case, he said, I wonder if you have interstitial cystitis. I'm sure I'm not saying that correctly. No, yeah, that is, that is pretty good. But you don't have any frequency of urination now. I do still have frequency of urination How now. would you define your frequency of urination? I was sleeping through the night and now I get up twice. Okay. And in the daytime, are you going more often? I am. I was going probably every three hours during the day, but <laughs> now I go every one and a half to two hours. Oh, really? So that has changed in the last month month mm -hmm. and so the frequency at night time are you getting up because of the discomfort or is it you're getting up to pee I that's a very good question doctor I think it's both because when I wake up I mm -hmm. I feel uncomfortable but then I say to myself I need to use the restroom so I don't know which came first okay I don't know if 
the discomfort woke me up. But it, it, I notice when I put something like a cold washcloth there, I get relief. It okay. feels like it's hot, like it's burning. What else helps your pain in that pelvic area? Uh, if I stay busy, if I'm moving around, I've noticed that it, it seems to be better. It's when I'm laying down that it's the worst. When laying I try down? to go to bed. Okay. That's why I notice it the most. And how about when you are sitting, what happens? If I sit for very long, I notice it. If I'm not moving around, I don't notice, notice it, it as much. As much, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, and uh, the two specialists have already examined your pelvic area, right? Mm -hmm. They have. So today I'm not going to examine, and you yourself say there's no rash. So I will, I will skip that portion for now. You are having that burning right now, I am. right? And I know it is difficult to quantify, but if you just imagine if we have a scale from zero to 10, zero is no burning, and 10 is the worst burning imaginable, where would you rate your burning right now? Uh, just probably a six or a seven. It's, six or a seven? It's, 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 I can really feel it. Okay, all right. And I see that you are also brought this medicine. From the urologist. And so this is uh, hydroxyzin. It is a uh, itching medicine. How often are you taking that? Once at night time only, right before bed. Okay. And does it seem to help your itching? I haven't noticed much help. Okay. No. All right. So Ellen, what we are going to do is, I'm going to examine your abdomen, but I'm skipping the exam portion at this time. I'm going to straight away jump to uh, a mechanical evaluation to see if your burning is coming from your back. Okay. In that regards, do you have any back pain? I don't. I you don't, don't have, have any back, back pain. pain? Okay. And the only reason I'm jumping there is because you also had one mechanical issue in your neck which was causing your tooth pain, it right? It was. It was. And, and then it's gone and it's just, it's disappeared. Okay, so it has not come back mm -hmm. since we last met, right? It okay, is not. so we did get a response on the from the neck exercises, correct? Yeah. Okay, cool. So uh, let's, uh, you are having right now six to seven burning in your pelvic area, right? All right, so we will work on your back exercises and see if we can make a difference. Thank okay? you. Okay. We'll make you lay down on your tummy and I'll show you how to do your back exercises. So you are in this position right now. Can I hand you my glasses? Sure. You are in this position right now. Um, do you normally lay in this position, Ellen? I usually lay on my side. You usually lay on your side. Sometimes I'll lay on my stomach. Okay. Very, very seldom on my back. Okay. So when you are lying like this, what is happening to your burning? It's it was six to seven when you were sitting. It's still burning, six to seven. It is still burning, six mm -hmm. to seven. All right, Ellen, so let's try to do uh, some back stretches. If you can look at me, I'll show you how to do that. Okay. So put your hands here, put your hands here and raise the top part of your body up. Go up, lock your elbows. Yeah, very good, you're doing very good. And come down, all the way down. And now go up, all the way up, lock your elbows and try to see if you can breathe out so that you can, yes, you see this further stretch? It falls back down. Right, and that's what we are trying to do. So let's do around 15 of those. And when you go up, you stay there for three or four seconds. And breathe out. And breathe out and relax. And breathe out. Yeah, you're doing very good. Yeah. Breathe out. Just do two more and then we'll check.
Okay, you can relax. Okay. Ellen, so tell me, have you noticed any difference in your burning in the pelvic area? It is a little bit better. It is a little better? It is. So it was six to seven. How much is it now? I would say it was a five to six. It's gone down a notch. It has gone down a little bit. All right. Let's do 10 more. Okay. Do you have strength to do it? I think so. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some pressure to get you stretch a little bit more. Okay. So I will just go back with you. Yeah. And breathe out. Okay. Go back. Doing okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go up. So Ellen, tell me, when I apply pressure on your back, mm -hmm. does it feel good or does it feel uncomfortable? At the beginning it feels good and then it, then it starts to feel uncomfortable. If you uh, go up with my pressure, if I right? go up, mm -hmm. okay. So it is uncomfortable right, right now. Right there, it is. Okay. All right. But when I apply, apply right pressure there, here, it feels, it feels good. better. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me change the level a little bit. Okay. Let's go up. Now. That's a little better. Okay. Let's go up. Let's go up. I feel that. Was it pain? Uh-huh. A little, not discomfort. a little bit. Discomfort. Okay. Let's go up. Let's go up. Okay. Do it a couple of times yourself. Let's see. And breathe out. Okay. And breathe out. Okay, now relax. So, how is the burning now? It is better. So, it was five to six. Next time, how much is it now? I'd say it's gone down an, another notch, down to four. Down to four? Mm -hmm. All right. I think, Ellen, we are getting some response. So what we are going to do is we are going to give you a break. Mm -hmm. So what the way you can relax is on your elbows. Okay. Just on your elbows and I'll give you a magazine. Why don't you relax in this position for 10, 15 minutes. Okay. okay. Just like this. Just like this. Okay. And then we will reassess again after static posture positioning what time does to you. Okay. So we'll come back in 10 minutes, we'll see again. You're comfortable in this position, right? Yes, it's fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we'll reassess and I think we may pursue more of the exercises. Okay. So, so just take it easy for 10, 15 minutes and I'll be back. Okay? Mm -hmm. So you've been here now for good 15 minutes. Yes. Um, how's the burning in your pelvic area? I'd say it's about about three. It's still there, but it's, mm -hmm. it is less. It is less? Okay. So let's do another, now that you are rested, let's apply some more over pressure. Okay. And I'm going to go a little bit higher because that's where I think maybe the issue. And we'll go from there. Okay. Okay. So let's do a couple of uh, uh, back stretches and then I'll apply some pressure. like this again. Yeah. Okay. When I apply pressure here, how mm -hmm. does it feel? Does it feel good or feels bad? It's okay. Okay. When I apply here. That's more tender. That's okay. tender. Mm -hmm. So this, when I push, mm -hmm. is more painful. Mm -hmm. And if I push more, it is more painful? Yes. And less push, it is less painful? It is. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
And if I go lower, if I apply more pressure, what happens? Well, that's okay there. I don't feel But pain. this area is painful. I feel, I feel it's more tender. Okay. Let's go up. Let's work on this area and see if I can milk this out. Okay. okay. five more. Two more. Is it still painful when I press? A little bit, it is. Is it any different than before? It's, is it not, more? it's not as sensitive, but it's... It's still painful? I still, I okay. still feel. All right. How's the burning in your pelvic area? I think it's better. Okay, on a scale of zero to ten. Um, say a, a two or a three, it is less. Okay, so the real test will be how you do on sitting. So let's let's sit up. Okay. I think we are going to give you a break. Okay. okay. Feet on floor. Huh? Feet on floor. Feet on the floor. Yeah. Okay, so in this in this position, how do you feel now? It is better. Okay. It is. Very, very slight burning. All right. So I'm going to introduce Ellen another exercise. Let's, uh, you know, it is the same. Rather than going on the standing, I know you had a neck issue also with your tooth pain, so I'm going to actually try to target more of a thoracolumbar area. So let's do this. So you are sitting firmly here. Let's do this. Put your hands behind your neck, bring your elbows forward, and take your elbows up, all the way up. Okay, now bring down. And now go up, all the way up, all the way up. And then come down. Go all the way up. Let's do seven, eight more. Go and stretch yourself. Stretch yourself when you go back, yeah. Go all the way back. Go all the way back. It feels good to stretch. Okay, how do you feel the burning sensation? It's better. Is it any there? I'm not noticing it right now. Okay. So you had this burning which was continuous. Is that right? Right. For the last how many days or weeks? Uh, two weeks. Two weeks. So you are telling me that this is the first time you don't have any burning? For two weeks, yes. Okay. So after um, doing some work up for the last 20 minutes here in the office, the burning is not there. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. So we are getting a good response. We are. And it comes down to posture. 
It is posture. And the exercise. So mm -hmm. I am going to make you do seated thoracic extension, this one. We call it the elbow. You go up. You're more flexible than me, Ellen. Go all the way up. All the okay. Way up. Okay. And then you will do the extension in line. The back one. And uh, let's visit one more time in uh, five days. Okay. If you remain burn free, burning free, I think we have found the answer. If it stays like that. So okay, very good. Thank you. Yeah. So main thing is posture. Last time, did I give you the lumbar roll for your tooth pain? Yes. Are I you using it, it? I have it at work. But mm -hmm. are you using it? I am. Are you using it at home? Not at home. How do you sit at home? I usually sit in an um, overstuffed chair, okay. a soft chair. That won't work. That's not good. You will have to sit in an upright chair and uh, the way I tell my patients is you have to bring your chest out like this. You're still okay. slouching, so you have to sit. sit with my chest. Chest completely out. Okay. Yes, that's where you belong. That's where your spine belongs. Mm -hmm. So, like this. I don't sit like that. Right, so we need to work on that. Um, okay. Use the lumbar roll. Do you need more lumbar rolls? Or you think one is enough? I think one is enough. Okay. So you will do these two exercises, back stretching and this one. 20 reps, do it four or five times a day. Can you do it at work? I can. Okay, good. Just do these two and I'll see you five days. in five days and we'll see. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right, Ellen, so you are here. Uh, five days later, um, I saw you five days back for your pelvic discomfort. Yes. So um, I sent you home with two different exercises. And uh, so tell me, were you able to do those exercises? Yes, I could do the exercises that you showed me. I Even at work, I could find a place to do those. And uh, I think they helped because the the discomfort is much less. Okay. I still do have some discomfort. Okay. Uh, but not anything on the scale like it was last Friday when I came. So All it right. is. So last Friday it was over five. It was in the six, seven, even mm -hmm. eight range, and now it's in the two to three. Okay. And I don't feel it during the day, doctor, but I do. I notice it mostly when I try to sleep at night. When I'm very quiet and very still, that's when I notice it. Okay. So have you tried doing those exercises which you have been doing? Have you tried doing those exercises when you are feeling at night time? No, I have not. So I usually when I go to bed, I'm so tired I just drift off to sleep, but I I should try that. Right. So you feel it till you go to sleep. Mhm. Mm for how many minutes? I, it usually takes me about 20 to 30 minutes to go to sleep. To go to sleep. Mm -hmm. So you are experiencing that during mm -hmm. that time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, are so you I having should... it right now? I have some discomfort now. Okay. Yeah. And on a scale of 0 to 10, where would be that discomfort? It's minimal, maybe a 2 or a 3. Okay. And what happened to your frequency of urination? It's much better. So the frequency of urination mm -hmm. got better. Yes. Okay. All right. So you are experiencing two to three right now. Mm -hmm. So let's see after doing those exercises what happens right okay. now. Okay. So why don't you do the elbow exercises and see what happens. Okay. Yeah. Let's do 10 of those, Ellen. better okay 
So we are seeing on and off effect from moving your spine, which is in your, um, is it any there or is it completely gone? There's some there, but it's very, it's less, but I do feel, I do feel some. Okay. So what I'm going to do today is, um, I'm going to apply some overpressure in your thorax again. Well, I haven't done it last time. I did it on your lumbar spine, but I'm going to target your thoracolumbar spine and see if we can take away that minimal discomfort which is left. Okay. But before we do that, I want to do something else to see cause and effect. So can you, uh, can you, right now, how much is the discomfort on a scale of zero to 10 now? I'd say a, a two. So it came down from three to two. A two. Okay. Mm -hmm. So why don't you slouch? Can you slouch? Mm -hmm. Just I slouch as much as you can. No, not bending down, just slouching like this. Yes, this is slouching. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's sit for a minute and let's see what is happening to your burning if it comes back or if it increases yeah you you sit like this this is the last time you can slouch Helen I know <laughs> You've been slouching now for almost a minute. Um, any change? I do feel. I feel the need to to move mm -hmm. that area. I really. I feel more pressure there. I think the discomfort is still about the same. I don't know if it's more. It is still two. It's still okay. two. So what we are going to do now is I'm going to apply some more overpressure and I'll see if I can make the discomfort go back to zero or not. Okay. That, that's what I'm trying to, I'm interested in. Okay. So um, let's do that. Okay, Ellen. How about you have a seat here? Okay. And if you can push yourself a little bit forward, a little bit more, a little bit more. Okay. That's it. And what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to apply some overpressure. I'm targeting your thoracolumbar spine. You see how this curvature? Mm -hmm. And so, anyway, let's let's do that exercise again. With my arms? Uh-huh. And bring your elbows to the front. Yeah, come down. Like, like this. Okay, now go up. How's the burning? It was too. It's better. Is it I don't. I don't know if I. I, I know think, it is tough. I don't think I feel it. Is okay. That, that's, you were feeling too. Before. I was. I still felt discomfort. Is it any discomfort? Do you want to stand up and walk around, or? Let me check to make sure. Yeah, check. I don't think I feel it. I can't, if it is there, it's so minimal. Okay. So, um, 
have you felt like this before? That it was completely gone? I that day? That day, Friday, when I was here to see you, it was right. completely gone. For how long was it completely gone? Uh, that was Friday, Saturday. Sunday it started to come back a little bit. So it was gone for one and a half days? It was. It was. And then it started creeping up. And then it okay. started creeping up, and then I noticed it the most last night when I was trying to sleep. Because oh, okay. I was sleeping fine. Friday night, Saturday night, So Sunday the sleeping night, also got better? The sleeping was much After better. the last visit? Yes. So I think we need to uh, work, I think you probably creeped back mm -hmm. because it is difficult to maintain perfect posture. It is for me. Yeah, and you are working still. Right? And I still sit at the computer and I, and I know it. I have the So today is Wednesday, so Monday Wednesday. and Tuesday you worked. I did. And that probably made it worse. Yeah. And I have yeah. a grant that's due. I'm really at the computer trying to get my grant finished. How many hours you are on in front of the uh, computer? Let's see, seven or eight. Yeah. yeah so I think that's why you got worse last night. I think. Mm -hmm. The computer. So we are going to. Uh, I I'm having a feeling it's the thorax, lumbar region. So that's what I'm targeting. Okay. So let me put a little bit more over pressure. Okay. And then you do just the same exercise. That I was doing home. before. Okay. And if it comes back, do the exercise and see if you make it go away. Okay. But if it doesn't keep it away completely, then call me and we'll apply some overpressure. Okay. Or we will come up with new strategies how to correct your spine. Okay. So let's do five more. Years of poor posture. Mm -hmm. Do you have any burning left? No, I don't. Okay. No. So I will, uh, I will continue doing your, do just this exercise. I think this may be enough to target our pelvic area. Go all the way up, all the way up. I think you can go further up now, right? I can go back further. Yeah, the key is to stretch as much as you can, do 15, 20 reps every two hours. And you can do some extension in line too, you know, the- On the floor. With on the floor hands. one. And uh, if the burning comes back, give me a call. But I think that's all we need to do. Okay. Thank you. Yeah.